uh, at ASCO 2018, in addition to many studies about immunotherapy and non-small cell, there was one provocative presentation about its role in uh, small cell, a few others, but particularly one called mm -hmm. Keynote 158 that mm -hmm. looked at Keytruda, pembrolizumab, in previously treated, now relapsing patients with small cell lung cancer, which represents 12 to 15% of our patients. We've seen some other data with Optivo, either alone mm -hmm. or in combination with the drug Yervoy, ipilimumab, What's, what's your take on what we should consider appropriate treatments outside of a trial today? And is there uh, one immunotherapy approach that's the best one to you? Karen, can I get your thoughts first? Well, first of all, uh, what was good about this trial was that it had a large number of patients in it, 100. Mm -hmm. right? So you could, again, look at it in a very similar way as the Opdivo trial. And when you look at these two trials kind of next to each other, um, they're really about the same in terms of their ability to uh, have a response rate, progression-free survival, and overall survivals were very similar between the two studies. So what I think it told me was that uh, there's no difference between Keytruda and Opdivo in relapsed small cell lung cancer mm -hmm. and that um, since Opdivo is already listed on the NCCN guidelines, I would expect to see shortly that Keytruda would also be there as well and that again there is no difference. Um, there were some other caveats to the trial that were, were very interesting in terms of we've talked about uh, that PDL1 marker mm -hmm. um, throughout our conversations. And um, what I learned here from the trial is, is that we have yet a lot to learn about that marker in uh, small cell lung cancer. Right. And so one difference between the Opdivo study um, and the Gaytruda study is the Opdivo study didn't test for a biomarker to get, to get the Opdivo or Opdivo plus Yervoy. It was all patients with refractory small cell lung cancer. For the keynote study that we're discussing, these patients had some pdl one expression either in the tumor or the immune cells surrounding the tumor. And so it's a biomarker selected population. And so when we're looking at response rates and survival data, I think those comparisons um, are important. Um, but the idea that um, we currently have Opdivo available for these patients um, and Keytruda may be an option for patients who have pd one staining in their tumor or in their immune cells, kind of like the scoring we do in gastric cancer patients, mm -hmm. um, I think is a potential um, opportunity.